after detailed assessment of the evolving macroeconomic and financial developments and the outlook, the MPC decided by a 4 is to 2 majority to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5 percent. Consequently, the standing deposit facility that is SDF rate remains at 6.25 percent and the marginal standing facility that is MSF rate and the bank rate at 6.75 percent. The MPC also decided by a majority of four out of six members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns to the target while supporting growth. I shall now briefly set out the rationale for these decisions. The inflation growth balance is moving favorably. Growth is holding firm. Inflation continues to moderate, mainly driven by the core component which reached its lowest level in the current series in April 2024. The deflation in fuel prices is ongoing. Food inflation, however, remains elevated. While the MPC took note of the disinflation achieved so far without hurting growth, it remains vigilant to any upside risks to inflation, particularly from food inflation which could possibly derail the path of disinflation. Hence, monetary policy must continue to remain disinflationary and be resolute in its commitment to aligning inflation to the target of 4% on a durable basis. Sustained price stability would set strong foundations for a period of high growth. Private consumption, the mainstay of aggregate demand, is recovering. <coughs> and it is recovering with steady discretionary spending in urban areas. Revival in rural demand is getting a fillip from improving farm sector activity. Investment activity continues to gain traction on the back of ongoing expansion in non-food bank credit. Merchandise exports expanded in April with improved global demand. Non-oil, non-gold imports entered positive territory. Services exports and imports rebounded and posted a strong growth in April this year. Looking ahead, the forecast of above normal southwest monsoon by the Indian Meteorological Department, that is IMD, is expected to boost Kharif production and replenish the reservoir levels. Strengthening agricultural sector activity is expected to boost rural consumption. On the other hand, sustained buoyancy in services activity should continue to support urban consumption. The healthy balance sheets of banks and corporates, governments continued thrust on capex, high capacity utilization, and business optimism augur well for investment activity. External demand should get a fillip from improving prospects of global trade. Taking all these factors in, into consideration, real GDP growth for the current financial year 2024-25 is projected at 7.2 percent. Let me repeat, the GDP growth that we are now projecting for the current financial year 2024-25 is 7.2 percent, with Q1 at 7.3 percent, Q2 at 7.2 percent, Q3 at 7.3 percent and Q4 at 7.2 percent. The risks are evenly balanced.